We're back. We're here with Stephanie Broadbridge. Thank Hi. you so much for talking with us today. That's okay. You laughed at a cock and balls in a... You, you, you've definitely laughed at a cock and balls in a toilet. I worry about them. I think they set an unrealistic expectation of the male form. You know, I think young men look at these images and they think, well, mine's not a thick symmetrical masterpiece <laughs> with two perfect circles for balls and three spiky hairs sticking out of each ball and they're always orgasming. That's a lot of pressure for a young man. It makes me think maybe that's why dick pics exist. Yeah. <laughs> and now I know for sure. <laughs> Poor guys looking for a bit of validation. Yeah, so whenever I get an unsolicited dick pic, I just write back, thank you for being brave. <laughs> so how has your day been? Oh, it's been real good. I went to Fremantle. Sick. It's nice. Is this your first time in Perth? Yeah. Oh, great. So this is your first time in Frio? Yeah. Awesome. How was it? It's good. I, I bought a top. Nice. That's very Frio. Yeah. Very free, for sure. You're assimilating very quickly. Yes. So a leopard print, showing my age. <laughs> so you're from Sydney? Yes. And that's where you started comedy? Yes. Amazing. How long have you been doing it? Um, six and a half years. Wow. Yeah. And awesome. New, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> still on the apprenticeship is on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Three and a half years to go. <laughs> Amazing. You're almost there. I'm almost there. Just over the halfway point. Mm. Mm. So, how did you get into comedy? Um, I got into it by accident. I went to an open mic night. Sick. But I'm, I was a musician. Oh, cool. And What did also, you play? Quickly. I just singing. Oh, cool. Yeah. Sick. But we also call them open mic nights. Of course, yeah. Yeah. And it's so confusing. Both are too arrogant to think that they need to specify. Because <laughs> the world true. revolves around whatever you're doing. Yes, so for sure. So, I turned up to a comedy open mic night thinking it was a singer-songwriter opening my night. Yeah, and um, it was great. Everyone really did badly. <laughs> like, it was, everyone was bombing, and I was like, oh, I thought you had to be, like, funny. Yeah, it doesn't comedy, sound like a like stand-up open mic night that everyone bombed. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> seem like it would be that way. You can just try. Do you know what I <laughs> yeah, mean? Like, that's sure. what I, yeah. I learned you can just try, and it's okay if it doesn't, like work for sure yeah which is different so from like hitting bad notes right yeah exactly it's a completely different environment well music you don't know if it worked or not because people mm. will lie to you that's a good point yeah yeah because they but no one will lie in comedy no one will say well, that joke was funny they say they're gonna laugh friends come and they're like i'm gonna laugh heaps but if you're not funny they won't laugh mm. they'll just sit there really uncomfortable <laughs> i've done that a few times <laughs> <laughs> yeah. amazing so, six and a half years is still a pretty long time. Is it? I think so. Oh. Well. I don't think so. I think I've been here, like, a little bit, and I, that's, like, four years. And yeah. I, I th but then again, I, I'm rather young, so my, you know, fractioning of time yeah. spent is completely different. I started old. I started at 34. Oh, crazy. 33. So, where did yeah. it go from, <laughs> from the open mic night? You just kept going from there, and then... Yeah, well, um... So there's not as many women doing comedy. Yes, I've noticed. Did you know that? Yeah, and well, <laughs> at first I couldn't see it, and then yeah. I was like, "Yeah, wow." So you can get gigs really easily if you are something that they don't have. For right? sure. If, yeah. Whereas in singer songwriters, there's plenty of women. So I would say many. too many, yeah. if anything. Yeah. For sure. So I was like a commodity. It's like the cool kid on yeah, the block. Yeah. So they were like, so "We need." Do you want a spot? I was like, oh, no one's ever offered me a gig before. Usually I have to like send 14 emails. Mm. So I just kept doing it. That's so crazy. That's so, so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So is the open mic scene in Sydney big? Because I've heard it's bigger than here. I mean, I don't know what here is, but like uh. what's big? There's, you can, if you are just doing gigs that you're not getting booked for. Does mm. that make sense? So, like, you just turn up mm. and you're guaranteed a spot, mm. no matter who you are. You can still do four gigs a week. Okay. So, that's pretty good. So, how like, how many open mic gigs did it take before you were, um, you know, paid paid to do comedy? I don't, a lot? I don't want to say. You don't want to say. You don't have to. 
It was okay. more out of the interest of the list. I still do open mics. Oh, okay. Every week. Oh, for sure, because yeah. it's a hard environment to be in. I just, I like them. I love open mics. Yeah. That's the rawest form of comedy. Yeah, yeah. So I still do them, but I did get, um, I did get paid work like pretty early, maybe three gigs. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So there's hope. Yeah. Most comedians say like it took me 20 years before my mom gave me. But I was terrible. Allowance. Like I shouldn't have been getting paid. Oh no. Three gigs in. Well, at least, at least you're honest. In, but I did. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. And that's how we really how flip. You comedy. Yeah, for sure. That's how we flip the social dominance over. We just get you paid. Yes. Yes. So, do you write much? Are you someone that needs to write a lot or are you more free form? I've never seen you um do a set. Um, I'm pretty scripted. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, I write an hour a day at the moment. Awesome. Yeah. I don't know if that's enough. But that's all I'm capable of. Well, you know yourself better yeah. than anyone, and like everyone has I'm their tired. own flow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. So, <laughs> is there anything else that you would like to say to the listeners watching? Um, I don't know who's listening, who's watching. There, I, I'm not fairly certain at this point. I don't know if this is going on YouTube. I told him it should, but at the moment, I think these people bought our comedy course. I think that's what's happening. So this is the workshop. Variety of people. Oh, okay. So people yeah. wanting to maybe yeah. Do it yeah. So or that's why that it didn't matter. Like if it. you did open mics or were paid, it was more just these people bought the course. You know, to just see anyone that's in the industry. Yeah. You know. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm in the industry. Yeah. Yeah. I know you are. Yeah. yeah I was just saying, like, don't feel bad because you're like, I don't want to answer. No, no. Just because it sounds really like it annoys people, but um, yeah, but um. I uh, keep doing it, um, especially women. We need more women. And For sure. never stop doing open mics. Never stop. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's all right. Thanks.